In this example, we're going to look at uh, another problem dealing with all the possible rational zeros. So we have the function f of x equal to 15x cubed plus 14x squared minus 3x minus 2. So again, what we're kind of trying to do is trying to uh, kind of limit our opportunities. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the factors of the constant. So our constant in this problem is negative 2. So the numbers that will divide evenly into 2 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. The factors of the leading coefficient, this time our leading coefficient is 15. So we'll have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 15. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't find the possible rational zeros. So to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to do the factors of the constant, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, over the factors of the leading coefficient. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 15. So this is really going to narrow our search for the zeros that we could have. So for our answer, we're going to take each one of the values in our denominator and divide it into each one of the values in our numerator. So 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 divided by into 2 is 2, and 1 divided by 3 is plus or minus 1 third, uh, 2 divided by 3 is plus or minus 2 thirds, and then you'll get plus or minus 1 fifth, plus or minus two-fifths, and then plus or minus one-fifteenth, and plus or minus two-fifteenths. And that's how you use the rational uh, zero theorem.